What drives a Bitcoin price? Well, the short answer is supply and demand, but what does that fall under? Well, keep watching to find out more. In this video, we'll walk through the question everyone is asking, what determines the price of Bitcoin? This video isn't a price prediction push. If we knew the future price of one Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency for that matter, I'd be taking my crystal ball and moving to a tropical island. That being said, there are some clear fundamentals you can look into that can really help you evaluate if Bitcoin has any future value and also what that value is. And also, is there any risk of Bitcoin going to zero? Welcome back to the Bitpanda Academy video, I'm Jessica Walker. So if you're looking at investing or educating yourself on Bitcoin, it's really important to understand what determines the Bitcoin price. Unlike fiat currencies such as the euro or the US dollar, the value of Bitcoin isn't defined by a single entity like a central bank. Instead, the price is defined by supply and demand, or in simpler terms, by the price people are willing to pay for it. But what does that mean? Well, when there's more demand for Bitcoin, the price goes up. And when there's less demand, the price goes down. This is why you'll hear phrases like, it's a buyer's market, meaning supply exceeds demand. And this was reflected in the price of Bitcoin. Also, scarcity is something to consider here. Do you remember growing up with the phrase, money doesn't grow on trees? Well, that's also true with Bitcoin, as the maximum Bitcoin supply is limited at the upper limit of 21 million Bitcoin. Meaning once all 21 million Bitcoin are in circulation, there's no more. So how can one evaluate the Bitcoin price based on demand? Well, demand really depends on a number of factors such as global events, including price declines and also advances in prices of stocks and bonds and economic developments on a global scale. But unlike monetary policy in countries with fiat currencies, the Bitcoin ecosystem is a fully decentralized monetary system. No one central monetary authority actually regulates it. Bitcoin just follows detailed rules in a very strict protocol, such as transactions added to the Bitcoin blockchain that are coded and set in stone forever. A new blockchain is added to Bitcoin's block every 10 minutes. And the only one time a Bitcoin protocol will change is when a block reward amount by the miners is decreased, and that process is called a block reward halving. So now we've got that covered, let's take a look at why the Bitcoin price is volatile. Well, Bitcoin has the highest traded volume among cryptocurrencies, but it's still a smaller market cap compared to the other global markets. This means that prices make bigger moves up or down with less money involved. If Bitcoin were to have the same trading volume as, for example, gold, then its behavior would be very similar in terms of volatility. And as there's only a limited number of Bitcoins in circulation and the creation of new Bitcoins follows really strict rules set within the codes of the blockchain with consistently decreasing output because of shrinking rewards for the miners, demand would have to follow the deflationary behavior of Bitcoin to even theoretically keep prices stable. There are also currency risks for large holders of Bitcoin regarding liquidation as well as security breaches may also influence Bitcoin's price. It's been seen many times that security breaches even on trading platforms can actually influence the price. However, it's really important to note that this was typically seen in the early days of Bitcoin and as the market capitalization of Bitcoin grows, more and more Bitcoin are in circulation and traded daily. The maturing market seems to be able to withhold these price fluctuations with fewer price dips and at a less significant cost. So the big question, and I'm sure you're asking next is, could the price of Bitcoin go to zero? And the short answer is yes. A 2018 report by two Yale economists placed the odds of Bitcoin crashing to zero at around 0.4%. Setting the price of Bitcoin to a true zero would be a monumental task and could be near impossible, but not impossible. Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And I hope you like this video. Please help support the channel by subscribing.